All right, well, look what showed up in the mail today. So today I received a Blue Eddy AC180. So these come up in the solar groups quite often, and the nerd in me just could not resist reviewing this thing. So um, it is a fairly high powered unit. It puts out 1800 watts continuously with spiking allowable up to 2700 watts. It's got a fairly large battery in it. I think just over 1100 uh, watt hours, which um, is about, about the same capacity as a 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium battery. It does have a lithium battery inside of it. It is a um, lithium iron phosphate battery, which is the safest. Also, I've seen many teardowns on this guy and the cells inside are actually the cylindrical cells. They aren't um, the prismatic cells. And so they're the same type of cells that are used by Battleborn and some of the higher end uh, battery manufacturers. So this thing has an inverter. It's got an MPPT uh, charge controller. It's got an AC to AC charger built in where you could plug it into a cigarette lighter or a 24 volt source, anything up to 60 volts including solar panels, up to 500 watts of solar, and it does fast charging off of, the, the, um, off of an AC source, so you can slam power in here and this thing will fully charge from a cord in less than two hours. So, um, like I said, it is about, I think it's 1150 uh, watt hours of power inside. So it's enough to be useful and it's fairly light. At 35 pounds, it's not a big heavy unit. So like I said, these come up in the solar, uh, solar forums and solar discussion groups all the time. And so I've really wanted to look at one of these. And now since we're home for the summer, I thought what a great opportunity to look into this. Also Dominic, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, is getting ready for college and so we today we are going to build some shelves for him for his college room and i thought what a great opportunity to put this little thing through its paces and see and what we're going to do is plug in power tools to this thing plug in drills plug in sanders grinders cutters anything we can plug into this thing we're going to plug in and see how it handles all that load. We're gonna run a whole bunch of stuff on it. There's even welding involved. So we'll see if it runs. We always carry a little welder with us. And so we're gonna see if it runs our welder. I'll be shocked if it can, because you know, even in our big bus with our giant power system, we were hemming and hawing whether it would run a welder. It runs it perfectly fine. But um, anyway, we're gonna see how this goes. So I get asked, many, many times to do product reviews. And I usually ignore them because, you know, I don't want to push a product that I don't have time to review or don't have time to fully delve into. But this was just too interesting for me not to review. So I'm going to be doing a review today on the Blue Eddy AC180 and using my son building the, um, our shelves as a perfect project to test this thing out. All right, so let's unbox this thing. See what comes in here. So we've got our manuals. So, and some certification cards. Um, looks like this is the power cords. So we do have a cigarette charging adapter. So you can plug this into a cigarette charger and like in a car and plug it in and charge this unit up. I think with this power source to charge it up, it takes over 10 hours because this is limited, I believe to 10 amps so that it doesn't overtax the cigarette uh, adapter. There's also into the same kind of plug. Um, these are MC4 connectors uh, for solar, for photovoltaic solar arrays. So this can take up to 500 watts and I believe it can go up to 60 volts. So it goes 60 volts and it'll put out, I believe somewhere around 40 amps uh, to charge the battery. 
This one is the power cord, and this is a nice, it's a heavy power cord. Like I said, there's a power boost function in this where it can, um, it can charge very quickly. And so um, this cord looks like it'll support that. It is just a standard, almost like a PC type um, plug. So if it gets lost, it is, I think, fairly easy to replace. It isn't like a proprietary cord. And it looks like we have a screw probably for grounding. This unit does have a little screw where, you know, if you're in a semi-permanent situation, you can ground it. Um, I don't, probably not many people do that. So the main unit is in here. So we'll go ahead and pull it out. It comes in a nice bag and all right, there it is. So, like I said, it weighs, I think just over 35 pounds. So it's not terribly heavy. It is very compact, small. Um, it has four uh, outlets for 120. It's got a bunch of USBs here. It looks like it's got a, one USB-C, four uh, USB-A, adapters which it says they do uh, five volts at three amps it's got uh, an outlet which will do 10 amps off of a 12 volt cigarette style lighter um, the top uh, does do there's a wireless uh, charger for cell phones and so um, it looks like it's got quite a few features in here we've got this is for that grounding lug I was talking about where you can ground this unit and then uh, the plug for plugging it into the wall. So we're gonna get this thing charged up. I'm gonna help Dominic set up in here. And so we'll get ready to start building his shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this thing up and then see how it goes. All right, so we'll go ahead and plug this guy in. So it ships, it looks like it shipped at about 58%. Um, and we'll see. So it's charging with 303 watts. And it looks like it's shipped at about 58%. And we are ramping up 800 watts now, 900 watts, 1,000 watts. <laughs> so supposedly, this will go all the way to 1600 watts and I think I have to enable the turbo mode on the phone app so I'm a thousand watts is enough I think I'm just gonna leave it in and let it charge like this and then we will put it to work alright so it's been about 30 minutes and we are at about 93 percent so still charging at about just over a thousand watts uh, it looks like 1070 charging with 1070 so yeah um, it looks like it's charging up pretty quickly I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and put it to work though and see what it does all right on here we're showing 118 volts on the kilowatt and the display is still so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in the boys are using Sanders see what it does. Let's see how this goes. We'll try the big saw. So I think this is a one horsepower cutoff saw. I'm not sure. So let's see what it does. See if it works.
All right, so this little guy has done really well so far. And with that saw, I cut up all of this metal. It was a lot of cuts. There's a lot of metal there. And it would overload, so that would pull at times 2,700 watts and not a complaint from this guy. So one of my favorite pairings though is with a air compressor. So um, a lot of times if you, you know, if the car's way out there, I don't want to grab an extension cord. I just kind of want to, you know, grab my little tiny air compressor, which that'll do 135 PSI. So, and it does plenty of volume, 2.1 CFM. So um, it's a pretty good little pump. It's really quiet. And I want to see if it'll run off of this. Um, I'm pretty sure it will because that that big saw had no problems. So I'm pretty sure this will be fine. But I'm going to use this to now blow off some of the wood and we'll see how it does. Well, I would say it passed that with flying colors. Um, it didn't struggle at all with the little pump. So, um, yeah, very good. I am very impressed with this little unit. It's been pretty much handling everything we've been able to throw at it. And even when we overloaded it big time with that saw right there, it didn't complain. It just kept right on going. So, um, yeah, pretty impressive so far. Um, hopefully tomorrow we will get to do a little bit of welding with this thing and see if this will handle my little welder. I'm actually going to go recharge this. I'm going to put it inside to be nice to it. It's, I think it's 112 today here in Arizona. So I'm going to put it inside to be nice to recharge it. And um, <clears throat> we will use it again tomorrow and see how it goes. Today it was, it performed really, really well. All right, back at it this morning. We've got this guy at 100% now. And um, we're gonna get to work. Today, we are gonna be grinding all this metal and just getting it ready to paint and weld. So, should be a big job and it should be fun. Alright, so I've got my little welder out. So we have a little tiny FC90. It's just a flux core welder. Got it hooked up to this leg here. I'm going to tack on these little pieces on the end. So the big question is, will it weld? Let's find out. Well, the welder was a little too much for that little guy, so it is still working. So it's still working, but it's too much power. All right, so yesterday did not go so smooth with the welding on this little guy. 
but how many people are actually gonna weld with their, uh, with their power pack? A more likely scenario is if you're camping, is making some coffee. So we're gonna try that this morning. So we will pour the water in here. And let's see how it does making coffee. So, so far so good. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so at first it doesn't draw too much power, but when it starts heating, the power draw should be pretty good. There we go, 1400 watts. I think it draws about 1500. The fan just came on. So according to this, we could go for 7 tenths of an hour at 1400 watts, which sounds about right. Yeah. All right, looks like it took about four percent. The pump shouldn't take too much power. No problems making coffee. All right, so I found an, a setting in the Blue Yeti app that allows it to do more high power devices. And so um, I'm gonna try the welder again. So we've had very good luck with the chop saw, grinders, sanders, everything we need to build my son's bookcases, but we have not had any luck with the welder. I did try it twice and it overloaded it every time. So I'm gonna put that high powered thing on and see if we can get it to weld. No? It was closer, but it still tripped it. So I think it's just too much power. All right, next we're going to power a simple fan. So it says it'll run this fan. 60 watts for about 13 hours. This is how the shelves turned out. We are really pleased with them. It was a lot of fun to build them with my son and his roommate and Michelle. The Blue Eddy has performed amazingly well. Um, you guys know me, you know I like to put things together and take things apart and know how they work and everything. And this little unit, for its size and for its price, I think represents an amazing value. Right now during Prime Days, this is available for $799. Um, that will be extended till July 20th, I believe. After that, it will be 1150, and it would be difficult to put something together that does everything that this does. Like I said, for that price and for the compactness. So you would need a battery, an inverter charge controller, an MPPT controller, a, um, a DC to DC charger, and some sort of display or shunt to monitor the status of the battery and all that needs to talk together. This, it would be very difficult to replicate this for $800. Um, the battery by itself um, is about the same size as a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. 
and you immediately start running into problems because those are very often limited to 100 amp uh, of draw, which is only 1200 watts. This will put out 2700 watts. So being the nerd that I am, I tried to figure out how they did that. And I think the way they did that is, um, this is actually internally runs at a much higher voltage. I, and I think it runs around 32 volts. I'm not 100% sure I didn't take it apart, but that's how they get so much power out of such a small package. The system is very impressive. The app for it is pretty good. Um, overall, I'm, I'm delighted with this system. I, I think it's awesome, um, especially, like I said, if you're a camper van or you're camping out of your car or something where you, or, or just camping, where you just need a power system that can, you know, maybe for cooking, it'll run a microwave pretty easily. Maybe, you know, it'll run coffee makers, it'll run, um, you know, heat, heating plates and things like that. Um, not for a long time because those things draw a lot of power, but for long enough to cook a meal for sure. Um, it'll run a fan all day. It'll run, you know, noise, a noise machine if you've got kids all day. Um, another good use for this is it'll run a CPAP machine probably all night. I don't use a CPAP, but I looked them up and this should be able to handle stuff like that. A couple things that I didn't talk about with this unit are the UPS function. So this can function as a UPS. It's a 20 millisecond interrupt, which is fast enough where most things, computers and otherwise will not notice. Um, and so if you don't know what that is, a UPS is an uninterruptible power supply. And so what you can do is plug this into the wall and then plug something out of here. And let's say you're running a CPAP machine or you're running something um, where you don't want it to be interrupted. Um, if the power goes out, the main power, this will continue to power your device until obviously the battery is depleted in this, which is an awesome feature. Um, the other thing I didn't talk about is the silent charging feature of this. So if this is in your living space, if it's in your car or in your camper or your trailer, and you're charging it and you don't want the fans to kick on, to make noise and things like that. There is a feature in here where you can set it so that the fans do not come on. Of course, that comes at a cost. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer to charge, but it won't bother you while it's charging. So anyway, overall, I'm very pleased with this unit. Like, um, it was a lot of fun to play with. The build quality is very high. It has a very solid feel to it. It's like a rubbery kind of plastic and it just, it has a solid, very well built feel. Um, honestly, I'd have no problem recommending it. It did exactly what it said it was going to do and I thought it was awesome.